Hey gang, what's good? Welcome back to Pillars of Eternity 2. Deadfire! We are down here in the grimy, crap, terrible land of despair and dismay called the Old City, but uh, it's the Old City in Nekataka. There's also some sort of sunken area here, right? Yeah, sunken city. I'm not sure. I Maybe that's something that will become uncovered later? I'm guessing? I'm not sure. But uh, mm -hmm. that's my best guess. Because for now, honestly, I thought that most of the Old City would be blocked off until like, late game, and that'd be some, some reason to, like, return to Nakataka or something like that. So, maybe that's gonna be what Sunken City is. But anyway, when last we left off, we had Jody, who needed a level, and we did that. Got her practice healer, the passive, because, you know, she's one of our two healers. And we got her, let's see here, yeah, Revive the Fallen, which is the sort of AoE resurrection spell, right? And she also came with Wicked Briars, one of her passive, like, Gone Harvester, yeah, Harvester of Gone abilities. Alright. Oh, and we also equipped one of those exceptional robes and stuff on her. Looking pretty good. Oh, and... Bye. I can't remember if we did this last time or not, but just in case... Not recording these back-to-back. -back, um, got rid of the Grimoire of Vaporous Wizardry on Aloth, and instead picked up the Skeletal Wizard's Grimoire, which actually I think balances things out pretty well, right? Because, eh. And so we're getting to that point where he's just taking, uh, like, chip damage from an enemy or something, and just a little tiny bit will completely interrupt him oh. and make him lose out of a spell. I right? shot. Even when he's just, like, at the tail end of it and would normally probably be able to cast it. Easy. You know how Quiet it's. time. All right. Let us explore around up here a little bit before we head over to the Mad Harvester. Let's see what we got. This. Huh. Deadeye, Svef, and Taruturuchu. Okay, let's do another quick save right here. Oh, these guys are coming to life. Look at that. Look at all of them. Ugh. What is that? Why do they have this big freaky worm thing? What is that? I'm assuming these corpses are like bloated from being around all the water and stuff, right? They've just absorbed it and gotten freakish, but there's some weird shit growing on them. Is that just like weird undeath magic? Some like necromantic energy? Causing that weird, like, fucking nemesis like tentacle. Alright. A fine sword, hide armor, golden obble. Yoinking that. Anything up here? Oh, we cannot travel over there. Okay. Have we fully investigated everything, like, down here, though? Let's see. You know what? We quick save. Let's do it again, and we'll just run down there and check real quick. Right? Yeah. Let's take okay. a look. And let's re enter stealth and check out this rock. There's a hatchet inside of that rock. I don't know why. Someone was over there trying to... They were just tripping on these shrooms so badly that... My god, they just... They thought that those rocks were actually wood. Oh my god. Classic... Classic... Classic Minecraft mistake. They were, they were out here crafting. They were doing a bit of the MC work. <laughs> god. I'm so sorry. Alright. Let's do a quick save here and... Uh, See what the fuck is going on with this. This seems bad. Look at all of them. Are they all gonna rise from their grave? Rise from your yeah. grave. Here, let's send in Adair. Adair, it's up to you. Maybe they're gonna form together like some kind of fucked up, like, Voltron or Power Rangers final boss, right? And become a giant bloated corpse. Like, look, as soon as Adair gr touches this thing, they're all gonna freak out and start wiggling around like some sort of disgusting jello. Alright. Oh, shit. Min's fortune. A saber one-handed. Huh. Okay. And a corroded bronze horn figurine. Oh shit. Eight uses. The uh, This is the corroded bronze horn figurine. The surface of this ancient bronze horn is green with corrosion. And Gwythin runes wind around the artifact from the bell to the mouthpiece. The glyphs were scrawled hastily and are nearly illegible. Though it is possible to decipher portions of it, the message appears to be a warning of some kind. Oh, that... <laughs> Alright. <laughs> it summons a corrupted Adra Animat. Alright. We'll hold on to that for now. We may need that later. We'll look, a hastily scrawled note. We'll be like, look out for all these fucking guys! This note is written on stained parchment in a shaking hand. I was searching round the old city as one does. Good loot down there, Kathwin said, 
Hardly any beasties at all, Kathwin said. Should be perfectly safe, Kathwin said. Bloody fucking piss for brains. Aye, uh, there was loot aplenty, but found this brilliant little bronze horn, didn't I? Bound to fetch a fair price topside. Of course, the moment I pulled it from the muck beside the corpse of some poor rotted wretch, I hear this great moaning start up behind me. I jumped like a startled hare and ran for it. And here comes this shuffling, right fast as anything, right on my heels. I kept running, like Skane's own effigy was chasing me, and it kept coming, and sure as shit I got lost. Now, I'm huddled in this old ruin, hoping I've lost the damn thing, and if I haven't, well, I hope whoever's reading this learns better than me. Don't touch nothing. Oh shit. Well, we're touching everything. Okay. And what does Min's fortune do? Alright. Sharp, yeah, because it's a saber. Exceptional, because it's that's just how it be. Long odds. Stacking plus 2% crit chance on hit. Wow. Stacks 50 times. So you, you'll, you'll eventually get guaranteed crit. Huh. The brash smuggler Min Felinko earned her reputation by taking risks and always landing on her feet. Running blockades and evading Valian custom ships were worthy challenges, and Min took great pleasure in constantly pushing her luck. She commanded countless troops, catches, and caravels over her career, transporting valuable contraband and always insisted on flying her personal colors, which depicted a cat with a mocking grin. When her countless pursuers inevitably caught up to her, it only heightened her thrill. She enjoyed few things as much as honest swashbuckling. Man, I like this. This person is very rela relatable. <laughs> to that end, she wielded this saber in many fights and narrow escapes. While she was not overburdened with many personal possessions, possessions, she prized the blade and cared for it lovingly. Alright, what kind of enchantments do we get? Long odds, lucky strike, eh, plus 15% crit damage. Synergizes pretty well. Fortune's Folly. Random affliction for 10 seconds to target on crit. Ooh, god, that seems better. That seems fun. I like random afflictions. Too bad we don't really have anyone who's like super fast melee DPS, right? Huh. Yeah, because Adair's current saber is quite good. Yeah, if you had like a like an old school sort of dual saber pirate, this would be pretty, pretty dope. All right, but that ain't us. However, I do want it. All right. Let's see. Take that. And there we go. All right. Let's see. <laughs> hey there. Good luck. Oh, God. Are they going, like, very fast? All right. There we are. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see. Maya, lay down some of this shit. Good. And we're going to start unloading here. There we go. Rotgast and Aloth. Speed yourself up here. And let's have Jody lay down some of this shit and biggin the crap out of it as well. There we go. Actually, yeah, break stealth, because Adair's already got aggro, huh? Alright. Make it huge. Put it right there. This thing isn't doing it. Alright. And how are we firing off? There we go. Let's do a quick swap here. Fire again. There we are. And how's Maya doing? Yeah, Maya's doing great. She's on autopilot. All right. Let's preemptively lay down some of this shit. Look, they're super vulnerable to it, so we can just make it huge as hell. There we go. Let's do this. Oh my god, look at them all in there on a dare. Holy fuck. All right. And let's try some of... Hmm. Should we lay down some vulnerability? Maybe we should. Or should we try and hit them with more crowd control? Let's do vulnerability real quick. Look, they're extreme. They really are just extremely able to be hit with shit. All right, let's lay it down right there. Need something stronger. There we go. And, let's go. All right, let's swap weapons again, and let us hit up this ghoul, I guess. All right? Or here, let's hit him up with this shit. There we are, taken care of. You like Good. That? Ooh, perfect. We fucking took it out already. All right, let's swap to this and just get one shot off on this ghoul right here. All right, and then Aloth, gonna need you to lay out some of this frosty shit, right? They're kind of resistant to it, but we may as well lay down some. 
There we go. Look at this, we are just plowing through him. Look at this fucking Left 4 Dead shit going on. Alright. And then Jody. Let's see. Did she already lay down her big ass- yeah, her devotions? Okay. Great. Let's also- hmm. We could try and debuff them with interdiction as well. Right? That way they go down uber, uber fast. Let's do it. Fuck it. After We're doing it. Alright. And how's Maya doing? Is she laying down the pain? Yeah, she sure shit is. Eloth is doing good. That's not very Great. Okay, should we lay down, like, one of these wondrous torments? Nah, probably not. But we can lay down, like, a malignant cloud. Let's see. Get that one just below Adair. There we go. Alright. And let's swap on back to this shit. There we are. And fire away at this ghoul. There we are. Okay. And let's see. If Jody gets a little bit closer, she could, like, do a heal, but he doesn't really need it at the moment. Alright. Let's actually buff ourselves. There we go. Man, Jody's, like, sphere of influence on that is getting pretty fucking huge. Alright. Like, that's it by default. Goodness. Alright. We will miss out on Adair. But that's... Eh, you know what? Let's just make it medium-sized. F it. That's not very helpful. Oh shit, they're coming in. Oh god, they're coming in for the fucking kill. Ooh. Ooh, fucking listen to it. Oh, that's not good. Oh look, it's freaking out, like what happens to Maya. Oh shit. Alright. Huh. Let's try here some... Hmm, what should we do with that? It sounds so fucking weird. Oh, I don't like it. Alright. Does this affect us, or just them? Let's have a look at this. You know what, fuck it. Let's, uh, let's throw this shit right in here into the fray. Why the hell not? There we go. Let's do it. <laughs> That's so funny! Alright. Uh, great. <laughs> let's lay down a Consecration, because they're coming over. Alright. And then... We should actually start firing away at this fucking thing, right? Oh, fuck this. That's bad news bears for Adair. Or for Aloth, I should say. Let's see. Let's actually shield him up. There we go, Aloth. Come on. Ooh, there we are. And then, Maya, I need you to fire on it. Get a Shiza on that fucking thing. This thing isn't engaging it now. Alright, there we go. Let's see. How's Adair doing? He's doing alright tanking. Oh, fuck me! Look at all this shit Adair is tanking! Fuck! Oh my god! It's incredible! Alright. Let's see. Let's send, uh... Should we try and do some, like, emergency crowd control here, or what? We could have... It would be super effective if we had Jody just lay down one round. Oh, fuck, it. let's do it. Have her send one over there. Oh my god! Look, that dude is running in. There's a few of them that are actually tough. Ooh, look at that. She, like, fucked them all up. Alright. Man, this is kind of fucking incredible, isn't it? Alright. Let's see. What else can we do here? We could... Hmm. Let's just try and finish this one. <laughs> right? So I like that. I don't think I can pull that off. There we go. Alright. And then... Let's go! Oh my god. Look at them all. They're all, like... Oh my god! Holy shit! <laughs> okay. Uh, we're gonna need some of this. <laughs> some defensive shit. <laughs> Alright. Uh... <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Uh, how about we shoot this one right here? Right? Let's do this. Oh my god. Oh my god! Holy shit! Alright. Let's see, Jody. Uh, let's see, uh, how about some... <laughs> Fuck me. Uh, look. Oh, look! This hurts them! Oh, interrupt and burn damage! Well, what a perfect opportunity for this! Boom! Do it, Jody. Hit him with that shit. Alright. You know what? Fuck it. I started thinking about this. We need to empower more, don't we? Because we're not making use of this. Is really one perception worth not empowering, like, almost every fucking fight? I don't think so. Let's do it. Alright. Buff ourselves up. And let's go for... Fuck me. Who do we even want to fight? We have, like, a plethora of targets. I guess let's get this one that's, like, up in our fucking grill. Oh shit, Jody is down for the fucking cow. Alright. 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> When's Aloth gonna come out of his little hidey hole? Okay, he's out. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let's empower him, and then let's throw down one of these, I guess? Let's just make it huge as shit, and just kinda hope it, uh, does some good magic. There we go. Ooh. Oh my god! <laughs> what an incredible Master. fight! Nice hit. Are there, like, more of them here because of the difficulty, or what? Let's see. We need some healing there. And let's see. How's Aloth doing? Is he still doing good? Like... <laughs> Fuck. Oh, man. Okay, uh, let's see, well, we could, is he casting that shit right now, or no, he's already casting it. I guess let's get out some of Trip these guys, time. right? Help here. Oh my god. That's not good. This is really not good. Okay, let's go. Oh god. It needs something stronger. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, I actually really am enjoying the shit out of this. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Uh, <laughs> fuck me. All right, let's try. Let's just can can we hit this one? Is that one a hittable creature? After him! I can't fucking tell shit. Oh my god! I think we're getting the shit beat out of us a bit here. Okay, here. Let's uh try and do some healing. Does this hurt them as well, or heal them as well? Let's find out. We're about to have a learning moment. Oh no! Look, it just it fucked them up a bit actually. Okay, good. Let's try some of this shit, I guess. No, that's single target. That's no good. Alright. Let's, um... <laughs> fuck. Uh, let's just shoot these ones that are right up on us, huh? How about... Do we... Oh, shit. Let's finish off this one that's actually <laughs> tough. Right? Okay. Maya, I don't know who the fuck you're shooting, but good luck. Okay. And then, let's embiggen this. Are they still blind? No, they're not. All right. Here, let's see if we can't get some more blinding shit off. Right there. Let's do this. Good. I think that worked. All right. And then should we try like uh, does this just bounce? Bounces up to four times. Is that really that good though for a situation such as this? I mean, this is a pretty surreal situation, but fuck me. All right. Here, let's lay this down. We get another malignant cloud popping off. Why not? Oh my god, Adair's gonna fucking- Oh my god, he's dead. He like exploded as well. Alright. Can we somehow survive this? Are we about to survive or die? I think we're about to fucking die. Alright. Let's see. Let's just embiggen this one as well. Fuck it. Look, they're resistant to this, which makes sense. It's like a corrosive thing. Alright. Yeah, we're fucked. <laughs> we're fucked. <laughs> Man. This is kind of incredible, though, isn't it? Yeah. One incredible what? encounter. <laughs> All right, let's quick load that. Fuck me. Well, that's amazing. So from the start, we need to recognize that we need to go like fucking balls to the wall with this shit, don't we? If anything, maybe we should pull with Aloth and have him jump back. Maybe. Hmm. Now nah, that's too risky. That's too risky. We could do the old shoe swaparoo again. I don't know, I feel like Adair was in a good position. We just needed to be uh, recognizing the fact that there are enemies that we need to prioritize here, right? We need to prioritize the one or two skull, like, pestilent rot gas or super dargool or whatever the fuck they were. We'll focus fire on them with Maya and myself, and we'll just, like, whittle the rest down with AoEs and shit. Yeah, that's the best bet. I think that's our plan. We should also maybe consider using the Wicked Briars. Isn't that an AoE? Jody's new... Uh, not passive, but shoe-in ability that she just automatically gets. We'll have to check that. See what kind of ability that is. I really want to take on this fight. This is a, <laughs> this is a very enjoyable fight, I think. We'll see how it goes. Good lord, but the load screen taking forever, huh? Ah, that's no good. There we go, finally. Chomping at the bit to pull this uh, off again. Okay. Now let's Happy see, Jody. Oblige. How is your this thing? Oh, it is. It is an AOE. Ah. All right. Let's hey. see. 
We can pull pretty quickly here now. I got it. Because we've already done the reading. Not All right. Adair, just uh, keep on coming over this way. All right. There we go. And which one of these are actually high ranking? Huh. None of them right now, in fact. Okay. F it. Let's see. And then Jody, let's lay down. Should we actually lay down some of this? Health on kill? Maybe. Well, that's just per ally, right? So that's not necessarily that great. Maybe if it were like everyone in the AoE gets healed for that. Okay. Let's see here. Let's try this buff debuff shit, right? As soon as Adair gets into position, we'll do it. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So for now, we'll hold off on Jody. We'll just have her attack the Pestilent one. Right. And buff myself up. Fire away at this Take fucking this. one. Alright. Aloth, we need speedy buffs. There we uh, go. Ulu good. <sighs> Can't make a dent. Alright. Fantastic. And now Jody lay down the law here. With your devotions of the faithful. Let's see. Get some of that shit going. After him. Yeah. Oh. Nice hit. Alright. Now Aloth. Gonna need that knockdown if you can. Oh, no. Any second now, Alice. Any second now. There we go. And then lay down some of that cold. All right. Position it right there. All right. And let's let's take care of this you one like that's that? on show. Good. Swap weapons again. And you know what, let's do, um, now let's conserve our stuff, because there's gonna be so many enemies up here. Right, alright. Allah's shit went off, great. Okay. And let's debuff him. There we are. Okay, we need to swap again. And yeah, let's just use Crippling Strike, that way we have more special abilities to fire off here. Great. Okay. Now Jody, top us off real quick. Good shit. Okay, should we do an interdiction right here? I think so. Let's see, are any of the tough guys out yet? No, I don't think so. Yeah. Okay, we're still good. No tough guys yet. Oh, there's one. All right. Let us start working on him. Right? Let's see. Here, we can, while he's coming in, we'll fire off one shot on this guy. Oh, look, he's already dead. Great. Okay. Let's ready a shot for this fucking asshole. Great. And then Maya, she's still doing work. Actually, let's buff her up, that way she keeps doing work, yeah. Okay, great. And she'll just keep doing her shit. Alright. Now, let's lay down some heal over time, right? There we go. And Aloth is ready to go with more bullshit. Okay. Merciless Gaze. Self hits to crits. Nah, that ain't that good. Let's see, what is this? Minus five constitution. Eh. I'm thinking we hit him with a miasma of dull-mindedness, right? Less perception means less chance for them to hit. Fuck it. Let's go for it. Alright, we'll lay him kind of right about here between us and Adair. Because we got a few running in here. There we go. That should be good enough for now. Alright. This is futile! Alright. And then are we ready to shoot that fucking thing? Yeah, look, Maya's even targeting it. All right, great. Aloth, we're gonna need... See, are you casting your shit, Aloth? Yeah, good shit. Okay. Let's bring this shit down here and lay down some of this big-ass malignant cloud. Right? Lay it down right about there. Great. Hey, watch it helpful. That. Ooh, fuck me. All right. <laughs> Let us heal on up here. Let's see. Should we just do a regular heal, or... Is she actually in combat with any of them? I don't think she actually is. Here, just lay down a Consecration. Right? Okay, yeah, I think that's good. I think. Can't make it down. Whew. Alright. <laughs> Fuck me. Okay, we're doing great, I think. Let's get some of these dudes over here. Good. And then, how's a dare looking? Let's see. Fucking A. Alright. 
Let us fire away at this dude who's getting low. Let's do our big finishing shot. Take this. Ooh, Ooh fuck. Can't do Jesus Christ. All right, Jody, heal yourself up there. And let's see, have Aloth empower himself. That way he gets more spell casts. And where's Adair in this fucking disaster mess? There we go. Okay, yeah, let's throw down one right there. Can't make a dent. Oh, come on, Alec, that in with that crowd control, baby. Fight. I think we got him. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna say that it worked. All right. Let's see here. And can we throw down another miasma? Or are they still afflicted by the last one? Worm puddle. Let's see. I think we're good. Let's see here. Immunity to disease and poison. Oh, okay, I see. Huh. Let's train him with blindness, then. Let's make this huge. There we go. We want to infect that pestilent one if possible. There we are. Okay, great. And then, who do we have next over here? We could throw down some sympathy for the lost, right? Heal up uh, our weak folks. Yeah, that's a good idea. Perfect. Oh my god, Jody. Jesus. Alright. Let's see. Uh, maybe we should have her withdraw herself, actually. Who is in combat with Jody? Any of them? Yeah, I don't think any of them actually are. So let's have her just run back a bit here. Alright. And just do kind of like a bowling ball right through there, maybe? Are we- Oh, is this fucking guy on her? Here, let's have, uh, Ishiza actually- Where the fuck is Ishiza at? Is this not a sh- <laughs> No, that's a writhing tentacle. Fucking A. Alright. Huh. Let's see, Jody, we're gonna need you to heal yourself. Just, like, post-haste here. There we go. Good. Alright, had to be done. Let's see if we can't knock down this asshole. Alright, great. And then... Let's see. Can we shoot down this Darghoul? Is anyone else attacking this thing? I'm gonna fucking shoot- no, let's shoot this Rodcast because it's about to detonate. Oh fuck. Yeah. Ooh, fuck. Do this. Ooh, I interrupted it. Holy crap. Alright. Oh, look. Grave touch. She's been inf infected with some shit. Ain't no good. Okay, should we just throw in a fucking grenade here? Is this a grenade situation? It looks like one, doesn't it? Should we just, like, left for dead pipe bomb the shit out of this? I think we should. Let's just throw one right here. No, let's... Hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> There's so many fucking dudes! Oh, this is a great encounter. This is so fun. Huh. Because his Wormulons are kind of taking the slack over there on that side, right? Alos Wormulons. Yeah, so let's just throw one right there. Grenade right up in there. Good. Okay. We can empower ourselves here. Excellent. Get some more charges going. Perfect. And then let's get some more of this buff debuff, because look, we're in the perfect situation where we want it. Right? It's gonna affect them and affect us. It's gonna be a beautiful situation. Alright. And then Aloth. Let's see, are they still blinded? They are. Fantastic. Okay, Malignant Cloud could be useful. I think we pop it off here, in fact. Yeah, right. Ooh, let's avoid a deer. There we go. Look, great positioning. Right. Good. Now, let's have you... Let's see, can we actually knock these assholes down? Yeah, we can. Great. And let us... Yeah, we still have our buff going. Let's fire away this dark ghoul right here. Good. And finish him. Need something stronger. Good. Alright, Aloth, how are you doing? Can you pull off another one of these bunches of tentacles? Yes, you can. Get them right there, right up here in the melee area. Alright. And then we're going to need... Let's see, we're gonna just pop another heal off there, Jody. Let's see, can you affect yourself and Adair? No. Alright. Get down here, it's more important. Because Adair can kind of eat those hits pretty well. Alright. In fact, Adair, heal yourself up. There we are. And let's see... Let's just have him empower himself. Right there. Good. 
All right, and he'll just start popping off those abilities. Great. And let's go for... Let's see, who is on Jody right now? Is it this... Yeah, this horror right here probably is. Let's do okay. this. And Maya, who are you on? Let's see, I don't care. You should be on this one. Right up in our grill. Jaloff is casting his shit. Good. Okay. Jody, refresh your shit. Good. Okay, Devotions of the Faithful is taking effect on some of them. Alright. Lay down the Consecration, that way we can kind of power through some of this. There we are. These dudes are coming in. Great. Alright. Now... Now that those guys are down, the, uh, whackers. <laughs> the whackers. <laughs> Alright. So this is corrode. But they are immune, not to corrode, but to poison. Which is not corrode, right? Huh. We could potentially do, sh do some shit there. We could try and confuse them. What's their confuse chance? Ooh, quite high, actually. Quite fucking high. Let's lay down a confuse here. Why not? <laughs> Can't make a dent. Oh. An emergency confuse because they're kind of like up on us in a major way. All right. How's Jody doing? She's doing all right now. Okay. We're handling this pretty well at the moment. <laughs> all right. And let's throw down one of these knockdowns here on these ones in melee. Still got it. There we go. Fuck yeah. Not very helpful. Ooh. Just eat that fucking explosion, great. Look at that. Their own explosions are killing themselves, huh? Perfect. Alright. Now, let's have... Jody throw up a heal or something over there to Adair. Let's see. If we embiggen this... Now, we'll just shrink it and put it right on him. There we go. Good. Alright. I think we got this. Okay. Perfect. Alright. Now let's have everyone focus fire on this one on the right, because it's the lowest. Alright. Good. Now, let's see. We could have her use some of her briars, but I don't know if we need to. Let's see. Hmm. We could try and do circle of protection. Ten seconds of defenses while we finish this one off, right? Hmm. Or we could have her debuff that. Actually, here. Let's have Aloth send his tentacles over there. There you are. And you will... Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Move over here, Jody, and then lay down your protection. There we are. Great. Perfect. Man, their explosion really does hurt quite a bit, don't they? Right. Great. And who is Maya on? Hopefully this one, right? There we go. Good shit. This thing Good isn't hits. doing the job. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, look at that. You see that, Oh, that is so good. Oh, I love that. We did so fucking great. Oh, no one went down at all. Mwah. Chef kiss. Good Can fucking do. job, Team Watcher. All right. Let's see. Let's claim our prizes. Probably just shitloads of vessel flesh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. There we go. Cool. All right. Quick save there. We don't get any bestiary, do we? And we got a bit. I no point of interest. The gullet falls or the gullet's falls. Ooh. Can we actually interact with this? Is this an interactable? No. All right. Fair enough. And we got our unique item. That's really of no use to us. Alright. And let's see here. I guess that means there's really only one situation left out here, huh? Which is sneaking around the back and engaging with this asshole. Let's see. What? Oh shit, what's that? Hidden object found. We here. I don't even see it myself. Oh, there it is. Okay. Ooh, look at this creepy looking thing. Thick like tar, a substance sticks to the edges of this massive burrow. Dude, we're totally gonna fight a Shihalu. Shai Fine breastplate. How's that? Is that better than Adair's current? No, it's not. 
His exceptional scale armor is just impeccable, isn't it? Alright, grab the money. You know what, we're gonna save right here. Quick save. Because I'm afraid that Shai Halud is gonna straight up pop out of there and scream at me. Just while we're kind of wandering around here, just pop out like, I'm the Shai Halud! How dare you, you fucking adventurers! Come down here to my domain! Fuck you! I'm the Shai Halud! Oh, look! Hey, is this another thing we can interact with? Oh yeah, Chamber of the Tides. Ah, alright. Look, this is probably where we're meant to place the conches. Ooh. Okay. And this is like foreshadowing for the next encounter in inside. Okay. But well, we still have this like uh, mad harvester or whoever the fuck down here. We need to att do some attempts. Leave it to me. Try and take him out. I'm feeling pretty lucky after wiping out an entire Zombo Armada. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, we can't come around the north like I was hoping. We kind of just have to fight them on their terms over there. Well, we could pull with Adair, couldn't we? Here. Yeah, let's do that round the corner pull. Maybe that's the smartest plan. Yeah, there we go. Alright, we're gonna try this first. Okay, Adair, whip out the bow. And let's see here. There we go. Let's avoid that shit. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Now, let's fire a shot off at that asshole. Great. Okay, run over here. Whoop! There we go. Good. Are they coming? Are they being pulled? I feel like this is about to be the real test as to what enemies get leashed or not. Maybe some of them are leashed to that uh, pylon? I'm still not sure if they're leashing to the fucking pylons or if there's just leash mechanics in this one. It feels like there's leash mechanics, huh? There we go. Now they're coming. Right? Or are they? Leave it to me. I dare fire off another pot shot. Sorry, Fred. I can't. Oh god. Okay, here they come. Alright. Or not. There we are. Alright. Weird. I'm not really sure how this is working. Let's go. <laughs> Yes, there we go. Take this fucking thing out. Great. Oh shit. Got it. Look at all this shit popping off. Alright. Good. Okay, and then Aloth, speed yourself up back here. Jody, lay down the buff debuff. Let's see, embiggen it as well right there. Yeah, put it right there. This thing isn't doing a job. Great. Okay. And then, are we buffed up? Yeah, we are. Uh, let's go for... This fucking pestilent guy again. Swap our weapons around. We don't need to use a powered attack. We should be able to finish it off. There we go. And let's see, Jody, how are you doing? Head on over here. And kind of lay down a Consecrate. Yeah, that will affect Adair. Great. And then Aloth, lay down your knockdown right there. Actually, debuff him first. My bad. Well, let's shrink it, in fact. That way we affect these two assholes. Ooh, listen to him cast some bullshit. Alright. Let's see, Adair, actually heal yourself up in case that's real bad. Alright, it didn't seem too bad. Okay. Good. Is this dude supposed to be marked? Huh. Maybe she failed with a mark on it. Alright, but anyway, I want you on the Harvester. Let's see, yeah, mark him, if you can. I don't know if she can. Huh. All right. There we go. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna focus fire down this asshole. There we are. Great. Nice hit. Dope. Look at that. Divide and conquering. Okay. Let's fire off another one of these penetrating ones. Good. Oh, that guy was Kith. Eh, he was he was high stars. <laughs> All right. Let's see. And let's fire off one of these again. Good. Look, th this time it's so easy. I guess we didn't pull some of the lower tier trash, huh? There we go. Good. Mm -hmm. Sure thing. Happy to oblige. Alright, great. 
I'm not sure if I'm, like, cheating by doing this. Like, are they leashing because of that? Or is this, like, am I, like, not doing this fair and square? I'm not sure. Is this an exploit? Or is this how it's meant to work? I'm not sure, because in the last one, they intentionally didn't have leashing mechanics, right? Look, Alice getting a little yes. fucked up because of his alacrity. <laughs> All right. Yes. Gladly. There we go. Okay, he's healing up thanks to his belt. Okay. Let's see. Let's send a dare over. Oh look, did we just drop combat? Yeah. Okay. Let's do a quick save. There's something I can do. Let's see. Exceptional dagger, exceptional rod, robe as well. Fine hatchet. We'll stash that stuff for now. Surprised there wasn't anything of super value yeah. on that guy, huh? Let's see. If we have this, does that count as uh, her being leveled? No, we needed to have her out for the Mad Harvester. Yeah. Who I'm assuming was no Kith, right? I mean, I guess could have mm -hmm. been a vessel, but I'm assuming was Kith. All right. Still is a pond. Everybody in stealth to a quick save here. Good. Oh shit. That Where nasty shit unstealthed us. Foza. Okay. And there we are. Let's have a dare run on in. Can't hide from. Let's go. Good. And let's see. Yeah, they're all low level. All right. This weapon's no good to me. Great. Let's see. Maya needs a marking. Here we go. Let's mark this corpse eater. Why not? All right. Speed yourself up there, Aloth. There it is. Good. And Jody, lay down the buff debuff. No can do. Oh shit! Why not? Can't oh, she's stuck back here. Hmm. Yeah, she could be. All right, that's fine. Look, that'll even get some of us. It's good enough for now. There we are. Great. And then also lay down one of these knockdowns. Why not? Quick, toss me something else. Okay. Good. And Aloth do a knockdown as well. In fact, shrink that. Make it a higher chance. There's only a few of them here. Oh shit. One of them coming in for the fucking kill. All right. And everyone back here except me get on like that. that. Oh shit, that is a kith? Oh my god, okay. Huh. This thing is kith. Because did you see that? I just managed to mind control it. All right. Well, fuck. Everyone else get on, like, the pestilent rod gas then. I'm going to try and fuck this one up myself then. Let's see here. Uh, let's try... Some of this shit here. Let's do this. Let's make sure Shiza also doesn't fuck it up. All right, good. All right, everyone else. Yep, attack something else. There we go. And let's see here. Oh, I'm like accidentally charming it and stuff. That's fine, because I get the bonus against a charmed creature, don't I? All right. And let's attack like the that? shit out of this dude. There we go. Great. And make sure everyone is attacking that one. Good. Let's do this again. Alright. And we'll do this once more. Right between the eyes. Oh shit. Alright. Everyone else stop attacking. Or just attack this one, yep, just attack this one. Take this. There we go! Oh, she loved it. Alright. Dope. We even turned it into, like, fucking jelly jam. Oh, what a great series of fucking bouts. Fuck me. Alright. And what have we got in here? Anything good? Nah, just, uh, some kind of, like, middle-of-the-line loot here. Glaive berries? Have we read these before? The glaive bush is widely hated by farmers. It is known for sprouting up in fields in large numbers, seemingly overnight. Small berries ripen and fall to the ground in a matter of days. Glaive berries are highly poisonous, and as they spoil, they blight the ground, making it unsuitable for cultivation. They can be collected, however, and put to better use. I think we have read that. Alright. Just grab up this loot. Cool. Hmm? Let's see, does she have anything to say now? We definitely got a kill with her. Oh, shit! Were they not kith? How was I able to charm them, then? Weird. 
Huh. Let's see. Did I, like, get a kill using my pistol or something? Let's see. Got a penetrating strike. I crit it. Did I not kill it? No, I killed it. Yeah. Huh. Let's see. What did I use? What damage did, or what weapon? Yeah, look. Fine, Modweer. Why did that not count? Huh. Maybe they're not technically Kith? Does my charm work on any, on things that aren't Kith? I thought it was Kith only. Let's see. Yeah, convince a Kith target. It shouldn't work on anything that isn't Kith, right? Let's see. Roguish charm hits rabid corpse eater. Yeah. What in the world? Huh. All right. Well, you win some, you lose some. We'll have to try it again later. Yeah. All right. There we go. Hmm? No problem. And let's do a quick save here. Let's see. And this thing. Anything good on this? Peridot. All right. Let's do another quick save in case some of these dudes come up. Quiet time. Let's avoid this shit. Oh fuck. Oh god. Oh, stop fucking with us. Curse of darkness. Fuck me. <laughs> good lord, they are fucking terrible. All right. Anything over here? Or is this just a whole bunch of weird mist? Looks like just a weird mist. All right. Cool. And let's see. Fuck it, let's unstealth and just run through this. We can take that. Good lord. Man, that sucks. So we're just cursed on them forever until we rest. Hmm, do we really want that? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm debating whether or not we should rest that off. All right. Before we head into the Chamber of Tides, we said that we were going to double check and make sure that this leads back to the main, the first area, right? So we should do that. Let's do a quick save right here. We run through all this shit again. Speed up as well. Okay. Turn this back on. Let's see where this takes us. It should take us back to the first uh, screen, the first, like, map of the old city that we entered from the Undercroft, right? Where, what's her name? Gwenfin? Gwenfith? Something like that is hanging out over here. We'll check and make sure we're good to go. Because I don't want to really miss anything before we head into the temple. Because for all I know, it may block us off. Once we... Yeah, okay. Cool. Well, when next we come back, we will be back in the old city and standing out front of that little statue there, probably to put another conch shell right into its hand, right? Because we had to use one here, huh? Yeah, we put one sh conch shell into this thing's hand, and that opened this shit up. So, oh, you know what? If we... Huh. Well, no, it probably required that specific conch to open this one, right? But I was thinking, if we had another shell... Or, like, if we kept that shell, we could just avoid using it on this statue and instead skip all the way back to the other one. But it probably requires that specific shell, right? Yeah, probably. Alright. You know what? Fuck it. We're gonna rest. The minus five, five accuracy, that ain't worth holding on to. Yeah, when next we come back, we'll be rested up and be positioned, ready to enter the deeper section of the temple and probably fight some Shai Halud motherfucker. Until next time, peace. Peace.